So J.D. had a much bigger win in New York than I think any of us ever knew. And we already knew that this, it was a huge one and beyond. Yeah, things are getting desperate for that nameless person and for the group that backed her as the panic and the fear they start to show. This comes through very, very clearly in this filing right here where a certain nameless person doesn't want one specific party to testify. Why? Because they have too many connections to a certain rocket man. They know what happened behind the scenes. Now, it's fascinating to me and shows me two things. Number one, again, how desperate these parties are. And number two, how much this person probably knows is how they're trying to argue this because essentially they want to re-argue the court's decision dated July 29, 2021. Why? So this person right here, they don't have to come off of all the information. They don't have to tell all of the truth because if they start telling the truth, oh, who knows exactly what we might hear. Yep, there's a valuable lesson in this for anyone. Never start a fire with a false accuser. Why? Because no matter how the blaze starts, inevitably, you're going to be the one that gets burned. You and I, we're going to talk about this. And this, oh, it is starting to get more and more interesting by the day. Buckle up, because we are talking fun times. Ah, so hey there to all you fine folks on this fine day, by the way. I hope you are doing excellently. One thing before we get started. There's a link at the top of the description. That is a sign up for our next project. Check that out. That's how we stay sponsor free, beholden to no one except for you. We'll talk about this at the end of the video and thank you in advance. So if you really want to understand how desperate some of these moves we've been seeing are as of late and how much panic is coming from that nameless person and their co-conspirator organization. I want you to remember this while we're going over those new documents. Remember, we've seen letters going between the two. We've seen what they talked about. We've seen the non-disclosure agreements. We've actually seen proof of the things that they denied. If that was everything, it wouldn't matter. They wouldn't fight so hard, and yet they're still doing it. See, remember, this is the same organization that just got through fighting a losing battle in New York with JD, one where they were trying to shut down witnesses. That nameless person and them have been trying to shut down other witnesses like Eric George, the one that initially told us about those letters and so much more. And here they're trying to shut down yet another witness and the extraordinary links that they're willing to go to to basically drag this out and hopefully not have this person go up on the stand. Yeah, it says a lot. It says a lot again about desperation and panic, but but it also says a lot about what's still out there, about what you and I don't know, and what they don't want to talk about at all. So this is the affirmation of one Stephanie T. This person is a partner at this law firm here. That, okay, that's important because this person is also the counsel for a certain organization we just saw a ruling against and the non-parties, as they call them, to that organization that also had that ruling placed against them. See, that's one of the delectable little tidbits that I think a lot of people didn't notice when it came to that huge New York law for that certain nameless person. It wasn't just JD against an organization. It was JD versus an organization and two of its representatives. These two representatives right here, they were ordered to come off of information and after that decision comes out saying all of these folks, they're going to have to come off of that information, what does their legal counsel file? Well, they file an affirmation and they make this affirmation in support of respondent Anthony Romero's motion to re-argue that court's decision dated July 29th, 2021. Now this filing is all about subpoenas and that might not sound very juicy at first, but think about it this way. You have a very powerful organization Organization. We're talking about one with a lot of money, a lot of lobbying power, a lot of prestige, putting everything on the line. They have two non-parties, essentially people that work with them, and all of them together say, you know what, we're going to openly defy a court order coming out of Virginia. We're not going to supply any of the information that we're supposed to. This leads to 
New York. You have J.D. filing with the New York Supreme Court saying, you know, you need to come off of that information. And these folks, they're told that they have to. Now they're trying to defy that order. They want to re-argue, essentially. They want to tick off two courts with that. Yeah, now does that sound juicy? Does that sound panicky? Does that sound really desperate? Listen to this here. So the subpoenas arise from the underlying proceedings captioned J.D. versus that nameless person. The Virginia action, that's what they call it here, was brought by J.D. against that nameless person and concerns an op-ed article that nameless person wrote for the Washington Post. After the parties were unable to agree on a compromise regarding the response to the subpoenas, J.D. filed a petition here seeking to compel full compliance with those subpoenas. Now, in opposing those subpoenas, that certain organization's non-parties submitted a memorandum of law and a supporting affirmation from the person writing this stuff up here. Thereafter, you have him submit a reply, and then on July 29, 2021, the court issues its decision, granting in part, denying in part, J.D.'s petition. Basically, 99.8% of what he want, he got the other stuff, yeah didn't even matter. So he ends up filing a notice of entry on that decision, August 3rd, 2021. Now their answer to all of this, oh, it is juicy. Why? Because it is open defiance. They're telling the New York Supreme Court, yeah, we realize that you made a decision, but you know what? We want to re-argue that. Why? Because we're afraid that one of our non-parties, they might say something that, well, it's going to do a lot of damage to us. Listen to this here. So in in the present motion, Mr. Romero seeks leave to re-argue the portion of the decision which orders compliance with the subpoena. Now, you see this term right here, directed at Mr. Romero. Now, that term, that means a court summons to appear, give oral testimony for use at a hearing or trial, a.k.a. to give deposition. So, to date, J.D.'s counsel has not pressed to take Mr. Romero's deposition imminently and has instead stated that the organization and the non-party, Mr. Romero, can complete their document production before any depositions are scheduled. Huh. So what they're saying here is that they're afraid if depositions come up before they can get all of their documents in a row, Mr. Romero might say something very very damaging. He had a lot of connection to another party, a certain rocket man. He knows a lot of stuff that went on behind the scenes, and I get the feeling that it scares a lot of people. Like I said, that's panic. That's desperation. And this stuff, oh, it only gets better by the day. Like I said, you thought you had a big win? Well, it just keeps getting bigger. Yep, there's a story being told between the lines, and I think it gets more and more fascinating by the day. But anyway, let me know what you think about this stuff. And as always, appreciate the heck out of you. That link in the description, by the way, that is for our newest comic book, our third one, coming up soon. See, we talk about all of these companies. We talk about how they denigrate people, how they don't put out good products. Well, we can either walk away and we can just complain on all the time, or we can create our own thing. You want to help us create our own thing? Yeah, that keeps us sponsor free. It keeps us beholden to no one, and we can actually do something for a change. Anyway, let me know what you think about this topic, though. And like I said, I appreciate the heck out of you. In fact, I'm going to leave with that. Thank you. I appreciate you again, and we will see you soon.